how do we get over fear, anxiety, nervousness, the palm sweating, the heart beating, the mouth drying, right? There's a lot of physiological response that happen when we are facing something that we are maybe unfamiliar with. And there is a speed in which the world is moving that is kind of scary. We're usually not ready. <laughs> we're, we're just not. And we feel like this. How many, how many of you feel like, like, like a little girl or a little boy, baby crying in front of your computer or, or in front of a task that, that could potentially be an easy thing, but it makes you nervous. So I was at an event uh, this past weekend and one of the speakers uh, mentioned a quote. So Michelle, Michelle Ray um, talked about Lorne Michaels and Lorne Michaels, the creator of Saturday Night Live, said something that really stayed with me. I thought, what a great quote. He said, we don't start the show because we're ready. We start the show because it's 1130. Isn't that a great quote? Because it happens to all of us. We don't we don't do something because we're ready. Nobody, if you've had kids, has kids because they're ready, right? You know, like we're never ready for, for whatever is going to, to happen. Um, we're, we're doing it because time's up. <laughs> We've got to do it. So there's a lot of physiological response that do happen to us as we get nervous and our brain responds in a certain way because we have taught our brain to respond in a certain way. So something happens, we panic. So I was, um, I heard this story a long, long time ago about um, a speaker that was just about to get on stage. And as uh, he was about to walk on, his palm starting to sweat and his heart started to beat really, really fast in his chest and his mouth started to dry. So when the palm started to sweat, he started to panic and he said, oh gosh, I'm so nervous. This is it, I'm gonna screw up. The heart started to beat and he said, I'm so nervous, I'm gonna forget all my speech. Oh my gosh. And then his mouth was dry and he said, I'm not going to be able to talk. It's crazy. And then another speaker behind him was speaking at the same time. They were both going on on the panel. So the other speaker is standing there and their palm starts to sweat. And then her heart starts to beat really, really, really fast. And her mouth gets dry. And she says, oh, my palms are starting to sweat. That means it's time. My heart is starting to beat. That means that I'm pumping full of energy and my mouth is getting dry. That's the sign that I'm gonna knock it out of the park. So the two physio physiological reactions happen to the two speakers. And then the first one decided that these meant a specific meaning that did not really empower him to, get, to go on stage and knock it out of the park. While the second speaker, she reacted a very different way. And somehow she was gung-ho and ready to attack the stage. So what are you telling yourself when you face a situation that will put you back in the driver's seat. Start to be curious because every single time something happens to you that you're unfamiliar with, it means you're gonna learn something. So instead of panicking, tell yourself, ooh, I'm feeling this way. That means, that must means this. And then you talk yourself into maybe being curious. Ah, that means I'm going to learn something. Well, I don't know how to do that. I have no idea. I'm going to learn it. This is cool. I'm going to become good at that. Oh, that's awesome. Look back 
at some things that you may not have been good before that you've learned how to. Like over a year ago, everybody was struggling even with Zoom. And now everybody talks about it. I remember in one of my first courses, I'm teaching people this revolutionary thing that you can use to have online meeting. It's called Zoom. <laughs> well, my course is old now. <laughs> like I was a bit ahead of, ahead of my time with this here. And somehow we have learned it. Make a have done list. There's a lot of things that you were not good at before that you do know and you can do inside and out with your eyes closed. Easy. So ask yourself, what will I become good at? Right? So whenever something happens, start thinking of how would you like these physiological things to mean that sweat, that anxiety, the heartbeat. Ask yourself, how would I want to feel? How would I, what, what would I like me to react to these different physiological things that happen to me. So decide on the meaning of these specific things so that you can get empowered and have access to your full potential every single time. So that's how we stop that nervousness and that anxiety and, then, and, and that fear of the unknown by giving a different meaning to the physiological response that, that we all live equally. It's just biology. So you do something about it.